hiatus there. Um, we got pretty busy with the 4th of July. We actually got to see some of our really good friends um, who we hadn't seen for a long time since COVID. But the cool part about that was they got to come to our house and Sable got to meet her very first other dog. Um, so they have an 11 year old dog named Chloe. Chloe's just a little dog and she's not that into other dogs, especially puppies. Not that she's mean or anything, she just doesn't really have an interest in them. Um, but Sable kind of figured that out and kept her space from Chloe, but would follow her around and actually just be, be sure to look at the end of this video because um, we're gonna put some clips from Sable and checking Chloe out and following her around. Um, but overall, the experience went well, and then after the fourth was over, we were able to take her out to my cousin's house, and my cousin has four dogs, all different types, all different sizes, um, and she got to play with all of them, and that was a little bit more shocking for her. She really wasn't sure what was going on when we first got there and ran away from them, um, but by the end of it, she would start to chase them a little bit. So little by little, we're introducing her to more and more dogs, make sure she's well socialized, um, cause that's definitely important. As for people, she does not have any problem meeting new people. We need, do need to work on, um, her not getting too excited when she meets other people, but definitely like that will be our next thing that we, we work towards is calming ourselves when they're new, exciting people. Not everyone wants to be your crazy friend. Um, we have had some difficulties over these past two-ish weeks. Um, since Sable hasn't really had the opportunity to be with a ton of other dogs, she's not fully grasping how hard her puppy bites can be. She's not doing it viciously or anything, um, but she's doing it excessively, but she's also, at this point, she's 13 weeks old. Um, so we're trying to help her figure that out, and it's been a learning process for us also to figure out the best strategies because she can get really playful and when she gets really playful that's when she gets the most bitey. Um, so we've tried different tactics. We tried um, ignoring her, we tried leaving the room, and it wasn't really giving us any success after a couple of days of that. And finally, um, we watched a couple other YouTube videos on different things that other oops, there you go, trainers would suggest. And what we found most effective is kind of playing with her a little bit, keeping her an arm length away, and then when she's getting super excited, can you lay down? Thank you. Um, when she's getting super excited, then we calm her down, put her into the sit position, and then once she's calm, then we recognize that we like that behavior, we give her a treat. Um, so that's kind of been our biggest struggle with her. We also had the opportunity to take her swimming for the first time, and as just, I'm sure you know, this breed is known to be quite the water dog. She wasn't so sure about it at first, and you saw our, our kiddie pool experience, but this time I went to like a big pool. Um, and it, it went all right. Um, she definitely knows how to paddle and everything, but I wouldn't say she's very confident yet. But we will definitely work on that. We're still just a little baby. So those have kind of been our highlights for the past couple of weeks. Um, some struggles for sure, just mostly in the biting department. She's really good at listening. She's super food motivated, which has been really great for us. And uh, she started shedding. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but she's got a bath tonight and you can tell her fur is starting to change a little bit. Um, she's starting to get like a little bit of a crimped look to her and definitely her puppy fuzz is going away, which is really sad that means you're growing up. But overall, I would say she's a great listener, super food motivated, and definitely wants to please. So we're also calming down on the number of accidents we've had in the house. I would say the last accident was a couple of days ago, so it's getting fewer and far between. Um, but she's been doing really well. As for this coming week, we have another vet appointment. Um, we actually took her last week just to get some more flea and tick medicine, and so they had to weigh her, and she's up to 15 and a half big pounds. But when we first got her, she was 8 pounds, so if that tells you uh, how quickly she's growing. So we'll give you another update later this week um, as to how much she weighs and what's going on with her at the vet and what our, what our game plans are 
moving forward for exposing her to new fun things. Good little buddies. Oh, she looks stinky. He is stinky when you take all the fur off. <laughs>